Hello, all things E fans. Dante here with your zombie survival tip of the week. But first, if you want to survive the zombie apocalypse, if you want to get the latest in zombie news and entertainment, if you want to have an all-around good time, make sure you hit subscribe and click that bell, because we're coming at you three times a week. <laughs> oh, man, that was... That was good. I, I, you know, I feel good about that one, guys. I got a lot of energy. I had a good day today. And you know what, guys? Here's the thing. I got this week's tip from a real-life experience. Now, some of you may recall that last week, some weirdo came up to our house. Snark met this dude at the Comic-Con, and they sort of hung out all day. And that dude became kind of a stalker dude, because he showed up at our house, and he was all like, uh, Hey, Dante, can I come in? Can I hang out? And I was like, no, get out of here, dude. A few hours later, dude shows up when I'm at work and Snark's there. And he's all like, hey, hey, Snark. Hey, I got some wine. Let's get drunk and party. I get home a couple hours later and it's a friggin' disaster in my house. That's right. They made a giant mess of things. That dude's wandering around without any pants on. Oh my God, it was a nightmare. So like four hours later, I finally get that dude out of my house. And around about three hours later, after I'm cleaning up vomit that belonged to some dude I barely know, I'm like, man, if this was a zombie outbreak, we would be screwed. Snark would have been turned to a zombie, and I would have walked into a bloodbath. I'd have been torn limb from limb. And then I was like, man, I should totally think about fortifying my apartment. And then I got to thinking about it. Really, the best way to do this, guys, I think, is to put yourself on total lockdown. That's right. You, uh, you know, you lock it up. So people can't get in. You make it so your doors don't open, your windows don't open, you cover your glass windows in a car or in a plyboard, you know, all that good stuff. Keep yourself safe. And then it got me thinking, well, how would I get out? And then I thought, oh man, I know. What I'll do is I'll poke a hole in my roof and I'll put a ladder there. And then I'll climb up to the second floor apartment and then I'll jump out the uh, sliding glass door. Or if you live in a house with two stories, you just get in and out through the roof. But you got to do this now, guys. You got to get practicing climbing up and down ladders and pulling ladders up the, on top of roofs and things like that fast. Because by the time the zombie apocalypse happens, it's too late. So that's your tip this week, guys. What I want you to do is I want to make it so you can't get in or out of your place from the front door, right? Then you board up all that glass and then you poke a hole in your ceiling and then you climb up through the roof and you put a ladder up there to get in and out. That not only is the tip this week of how to fortify your home, but it's also a good reminder that preparation is 90% of the work. Or is it uh, preparation is 10% and perspiration? I, I don't know how it works. Anyways, you guys have a great week and fortify your place. Bye! Brains. So, uh, you just... You just want me to stand right here? Is, is this where you want me, Dante? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, um, thanks for having me involved. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, thank okay, you. Okay, so, appreciate it. Uh, you just want me to go um, click here to subscribe and click here for another video. Just just stuff like that? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were going to have me do like a burlesque routine or wait, something, but uh, wait, sure. That's, an option. that's easy. No, yeah, I, I can, that's do, that's I can totally do this. Okay, here we go. Wait, I didn't know.